Hello there and welcome to PGA Tour 2K21. My name is John and my job is to get you swinging that club like a pro in as little time as possible. Let's crack into it. To begin your swing, pull back on the swing stick. When your golfer's at the top of their backswing, press the swing stick forward. Give it a go. Well, that was well done. After each shot, you will get feedback as to how accurate your shot was in the bottom right-hand corner. In the middle of that circle, there's a white stripe, and that is your swing plane, and that is where your swing needs to live. The more, nice work. And you're also gonna receive feedback on your swing timing, and that's the meter that kind of wraps around the top of your swing accuracy indicator. Your backswing timing refers to the, that's the stuff. Congratulations, you've got the basics down, Pat. Can't wait to see you use some of these lessons. In this lesson, we're gonna talk about one of the most important skills you can have at your disposal, and that is putting. Now, good job on that one. The putt weight is how hard you hit your putt. To set your putt weight, move the aim marker towards or away from. Well done on that lesson. Those moving dots on the grid are telling us that your putt is going to break to the right, so you're gonna have to aim to the left to compensate. Use the aim stick to make adjustments before putting so that you can drop this one in the hole. All right, that didn't pan out. Let's give it another go. Well, you've got that one down. And with that, you are... Hello and welcome to this lesson where we will talk about clubs and shot types. I am gonna show you how to make the most of what's in your golf bag with a few simple tricks. Okay, so for this shot, you're hitting into the wind. This means you are gonna have to club up or in other words, use a longer club. So let's press the change club button until you get to the pitching wedge, then just pop this shot onto the green. That's what we're looking for. Now it's only a matter of time before you find yourself in a situation where the normal shot type is just not gonna do. Now to get on the green from here, you are gonna need a chip shot. So let's press the change shot type button until you get to the chip shot and then chip that ball nice and close to the pin with your next stroke. Well, you've got the hang of this one. Information about the current lie of your ball is available always in the top right corner of the screen. This will give you a range of how much spin and power your shot will retain, and then you can use that info to adjust your shot accordingly. For this particular situation, let's change our club to the sand wedge, and then change our shot type to a splash shot, which is a great shot for getting out of these greenside bunkers. After that, Give that swing a go. See if you can stick it close. Well, no need to linger on this lesson. And hello there and welcome to the lesson on advanced shots. In this lesson, we're gonna learn about techniques you're gonna wanna master if you want to compete with the pros. Let's begin. In this situation, we are gonna need to take a partial swing. If you chip this with full power, it's gonna blow right by the hole. So, we are going to have to move our aim marker closer to us to compensate. Move the aim marker a little bit closer to you. See if you can get about a 75% power chip. And then, you great work. Looks like you've got the hang of that. You're gonna come across situations like this one where you want to adjust the spin and loft of your shot. In this case, we wanna land our shot on the green softly without a whole lot of roll. And for that, we need to add some backspin. Hold down the true shot button and move your aim stick down to increase your loft and backspin. And then have a go at this pin 
and see if he can land it nice and soft and close. Not quite. Uh, let's reset. Try again. We'll chalk that one up as a success. Applying a fade or draw to your golf shot is a great tool to have at your disposal. By holding down the true shot button and moving the aim stick to the left, you can apply a fade. By moving the aim stick right, you can apply a draw to the ball flight. To complete this lesson, apply a fade to your next shot and watch that ball curl gently back into the middle of the driving range. And let's just go ahead and try that again, okay? Good job, that's what we're looking for. Well, this is where we part ways, my young Padawan. All that's left for you is to choose a difficulty level and then customize your golfer in the My Player menu if you want. Have fun, and I'll see you out there on the links.
Welcome to our PGA Tour coverage here on 2K Sports. We're at the TGC Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, it's like the first day at school, isn't it? This player's now made it to the PGA Tour. What could possibly be going on through their mind? They're just trying to not vomit <laughs> when they're on the first team, Luke. <laughs> right. Nobody's thinking about the money and the excitement <laughs> and the major wins. And this is awesome. You're literally so excited to hit that first tee shot. You really don't care where it goes, but you want it to be in play. But right. you just, that's the only thing that you can. Let's just get going. That's the only thing that you can possibly comprehend mm -hmm. is hitting that ball. That's the only thing you can. I, I dare any other player to say, well, <laughs> this is the right. yeah. first of many unbelievable opportunities listen we, we can talk about everything that they want to achieve or what their career was but right now their one and only goal is getting that first tee shot in play somewhere i'm looking forward to today that's for sure Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Second shot here on the first. Going with the eight iron here. Hoping for a bounce here. Preferably to the left. But not a bad approach. It'll be putting. They're lining up the birdie putt here. Okay, steady now. Par putt coming up here. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. He's currently tied for third. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. That's heading for the fairway. Let's take a look at Kevin Kisner's effort from earlier. Lining up for his third now. Don't know about you, Beamer, but I would have loved to have hit a shot of that calibre. OK, let's get back to the action from around 180 yards out.
Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. Oh, just missed. Just three feet to the cup. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. We have a par three on this one. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. Going with the five wood. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. Oh well, you got a chance to improve on the next one. From the sand, looking to get up and down. Next part is for bogey. Yeah, that's well judged. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Currently at two over par. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. Looking shot this. Gee, there's some energy and action going on all around this property. Wonder what's happened. No harm, no foul there with that shot. John, you're down there. What's happening? Down on the fifth hole now as Justin Thomas gets ready for his next shot. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Oh, that was a beauty. This punt to move into the top 20 on the leaderboard.
Ooh, right by the hole. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Teeing off here at the fifth. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. And there's highlights of plenty out there on the golf course. Let's take a look at this incredible shot. And how about this shot from Patrick Cantlay? Always lovely to see a long range bomb made. Let's recap it. Wonderful effort. Let's return to live play now. Patrick Cantlay was known as that can't miss kid. He went through all sorts of issues injury wise and also personally losing his friend and caddy in a tragic accident. But he's a guy who has finally found his way to the top. Is it where it belongs, Rich? He's one of the purest swingers, ball strikers in the game. And he's also got the competitive fire uh, that burns awfully bright in his system. There's no doubt that he can be a force to contend with for years to come on the PGA Tour, Luke. I think the one thing that he needs to be mindful of is his pace of play. I think at times it gets a little bit slow, but in saying that, if he's only hitting it 63 times around, how long can it take? <laughs> I mean, he's just, he's an amazing, amazing player. That was a gallant attempt. This is a par putt. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Now fall back after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. That's a good looking shot there. And here we are with the third shot. Four strokes off the lead. Yeah, that one will play. You want to move into the top 10 on the leaderboard? Well, let's hold this putt. Well, well hold, you'll take the birdie. And you'll move into the top 10. Currently at plus one for the day. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Opting for the five wood. This one might need to get down a little. Nicely done. This is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. Was on a good line. 
This putt's about four feet from the hole. Good putt, that. Let's head over to the ninth. Even for the day. Currently tied for fifth place. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. That goes down for an eagle. And that will move him up the leaderboard as well. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. You've arrived at a par four. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Playing this shot from around 220 yards here. Four shots behind our leader. Going with a three wood here. Oh, come on, sit. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. Not far from the green here, just in the greenside rough. Oh, wonderfully played chip shot. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. And in it goes for the par. He's currently tied for 11th. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. That one's heading down Broadway. Getting ready to play their third. Currently four shots off the pace. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. Well, Rich, you think they're going to make this one? I really can't say I'm a fan of their chances on this one, Luke, but I tell you what, I've been wrong once before. This one's tracking. And down she goes. And what a way to jump into the top ten. And now we go to the tenth, where this happened moments ago. This is a superb shot from Patrick Cantlay. I gotta say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Oh, that's a beauty. How about holding that one?
Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. All right, Rich, we've made the turn now into the final nine. What are your thoughts so far? Look, they're in the top 10, and they're actually making a really nice push up this leaderboard. Let's see how they play over this final nine holes. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. That's a smart option. Back into the fairway. John, do you have any info down there? I'm down on the 11th now, and this is Patrick Cantley's next shot. And back to the course with the live action. Even for the day, tied for sixth position. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. Well, a lovely opportunity to save par here. That's well hold. And that par ensures he'll stay right there at even par. Teeing off here at the 11th. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. From about 130 yards here, two strokes off the lead. Going with the 9-iron, nine I think. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. A wonderful shot. A chance for birdie here on the 11th. And this putt to move into the top five. Looks good off the blade. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. And that will take him to one under. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. Managing to chase down the leaders, closing that gap. Gotta like it. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Going with the seven. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Not taking enough club to get it there. Oh, my. Ha, oh, right at it from out of the bunker. Oh, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Let's go to our man, John, on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, guys, I'm down on the 13th hole. This is Justin Thomas prepping his next shot. What a shot. Almost went in the bucket. Are you kidding me? This is awesome. Check this out. Opens the blade wide up, goes right underneath it, and finds the bottom of the cup. Bravo indeed, sir teeing off here on the 13th hole. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Oh, that was pure. 
and our intrepid on-course reporter, John, standing by. This is Kevin Kisner's next shot here on the 15th. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Let's get back to it, shall we? And here we are with the third shot. One stroke off the lead. This one's going right at the pin here. And they'll tap this in for birdie. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. And that will take him to two under. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Playing from around 240 yards. Just a couple back from our leader. Opting for the three wood. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Ooh, back there, horsey. Five feet coming up to the cup. Ooh, nice line. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. He's currently sitting in third. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. This looks to be heading to the green. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay from earlier. Let's return to live play now. Sitting at two under, currently in third place. Second spot on the leaderboard, or at least a share of it, if you can hold this. With three holes to go, it's a good position to be in. And the putt drops, now two under, heading down the stretch. They're gonna have to dig deep to pull this one out. Let's see what they got. Gary Woodland currently leads the field. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Needs to make a move soon. Nicely done. Second shot here on the 16th. Looks like they've got the five wood. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Whoa, what a massive play if they can get this one up and down. Clutch even. Well, that's an impressive little chip. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. This is a big moment in their round, isn't it? They have it all right in front of them. Will they seize the opportunity? That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. Well, of these holes, the short par four. Do you be bold or lay up? They are trailing, heading into the short par four. Do they take it on to the layup? How much do they trust their swing right now? We'll find out. That should find the cut stuff. Second shot here on the 17th. Beauty, an eagle. And that's going to hoist him into first place. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the videotape.
Well, that's a good move. Always nice when you can head to the top of the leaderboard. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. Well, what a lovely position to be in, holding the lead, playing the last. Good luck. Now, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Second shot here at the 18th. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, what a shot by our leader. This is always a good moment. A putt to win the tournament. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Get excited. This could go in. Ladies and gentlemen, they've just won their first ever PGA Tour event. Rich, what do you think's going through their mind right now? Nothing. They're confused about everything right now. I tell you, you just... You win and you're just, you can't believe it just happened. You really just have no idea. You're shocked. It's a great feeling. Well, what a memorable moment this is, Rich. Players never forget their first ever PGA Tour win, nor will this player. Great job. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elby and Rich B, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.